Hi guys, coming off of the high from yesterday. <laughs> I'm not feeling the hottest this morning. I just woke up with like really bad anxiety around like 6 a.m. And I don't know, I've been doing that where I wake up and I just have like this pit in my stomach. And I kind of roll around. I'll like try and go to the bathroom. And then I just like come back and I'm just like not doing well and then I can't fall back asleep. A lot of mornings I can shake it and kind of like start the morning and be fine. I don't know, this morning was just kind of like weird. And I just wanted to document that because like I said, there's power in vulnerability and the moments that you maybe don't want to show online. Like right now, I have my therapist at 8.30. She's been my literal queen for the past two years. So I'm gonna catch up with her. I want to walk and maybe get coffee this morning. I feel like I just need to walk it off, use the therapy headphones, get in a good mind headspace. I just need to stay busy. I think that's the best thing for me right now. And I just need a good day. That's my update. It's a beautiful sunrise though. And don't get me wrong, I still feel very blessed. The hardest part is getting up. We're gonna do it right now. And you're gonna watch me and hold me accountable. We're up. Let's start this day. Nothing that going on a drive cannot fix. Look at how beautiful. Yep, this is definitely turning the day around. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park right now. We only have the Jeep until tomorrow, so I'm trying to make the most of it. And we've literally just been driving, listening to good and healing music. The sun is out, it's a beautiful day, and we're just gonna hang here, explore, and then go to the food trucks later. It's so weird how I just woke up and just knew that something in me and my body just was not feeling good. I just felt sad and I really tried today and I had so many good moments with Erin. I'm sad that she's leaving on Friday because she's been really helpful to me and everything I've been going through. It's just so weird. I don't think I've ever filmed myself crying because I hate that. <laughs> but I know it's important. I really tried. It doesn't matter where you are, if you're not feeling and healing from the inside and then letting it radiate out, you're not gonna feel whole and I don't care that I'm in this beautiful place. Obviously I care I'm here, but what I mean is like being here doesn't just put a smile on my face and be like, all right, I'm good to go. And I don't know, I was just kind of spiraling because I was in the room and it's like whenever I have downtime is when I really just like get sad. And I was archiving like old pictures on my Instagram and I was just looking and being so critical of myself when I had, you know, either brown hair or when I was younger or I did my makeup a certain way or I pose a certain way and like ew why did I post that how could anyone think I look cute here it was just like shitting on myself and it made me so sad because why am I doing that to myself what good is that gonna do and there's so many people commenting such nice things but it shows like even people can say they think you look great they think this that you don't feel that with yourself it's really hard to feel that way at all and I just really gotta work on it but it doesn't happen overnight I just want to feel just content and in a moment and it's like if I take a picture I take one if not whatever I've always been so hyper fixated on everything and then I just started spiraling it's like going on social media just doesn't necessarily make me happy I don't know that's that's my update I just have been feeling sad and felt the need to document it because like I said there's gonna be good there's gonna be bad there's gonna be learning there's going to be the bumps in the road that make it one step forward couple steps back it's just like that and they're just a lot of feelings and emotions I've never had to experience and when they come on just so sudden and you're just kind of trying to figure out your life as you're in this whole new place driving a new car living in a new place eating new food it's just like very overwhelming a lot of change at once that I didn't see happening in my January, but it did happen. But I know that change is so good and so needed. You don't grow when you're just 
comfortable and I'm just praying on that a lot and really journaling on that but it's hard when you're a very deeply attached person to just location and people and feelings and objects it's not that you want to just be fully detached from everything but you just have to find a good balance <laughs> sorry I can't take myself seriously wearing these they're just kind of helping I have to help myself here and I have to be a big girl and that's what this is and it's just a little scary I can keep rambling but I'm gonna go I hope this maybe resonated with one of you it's very scary talking about this stuff and showing yourself sad online because you want to be like no like I am thriving and I am in so many ways it's not that I'm just over here like down in the dumps but at the same time shit's not perfect and that's the real thing that I'm trying to show <laughs> all right I think Aaron and I are gonna meet up with Hannah and Lexi and Meredith and we're gonna go eat some food and people watch down by the food trucks and just watch the sunset I don't know I'm excited for that I'm looking forward to it so I will update you guys and check in tomorrow I think <laughs> okay goodbye <laughs> All right, everyone, my ladies are here. They're gonna fix me and help me, and we're gonna go have a good night. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> you guys got it. Oh, you got it, you got it before. I sure hope so. <laughs> there is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. I am sorry if the majority of these videos is filmed out here. It's honestly just a very insightful balcony where I have all my epiphanies. But hello, we are doing so good today. I woke up with a very clear mind, feeling very good after my little cry yesterday. I don't cry a lot. I'm not much of a crier. It takes a lot for me to get there. And so I think I'm good for the next little bit on the tears. But Aaron and I just had a really peaceful morning. We walked a lot. We got some yummy food. We're gonna go to the beach and go to Pipeline and just see some surfing, hang out. Honestly, we just need really good vibes right now. It's her last day and I'm definitely nervous. And I'll bring you guys along tomorrow for my first day here. Here and just kind of getting situated. I'd love to show you the place in the next little part or video vlog. I think what I want to leave this on is something for you guys to kind of think on too. It's something that I kind of realized yesterday. I was doing a work email yesterday to work with a really exciting brand that I love so much and there was this questionnaire I had to fill out answering simple questions about myself. Name, birthday, address, random stuff and then the last question really got me. <laughs> it said, what do you like? And then it had in parentheses like hobbies, interests, food, colors, things. And I literally sat right in the spot for like 20 minutes trying to write a list of like even five top things of all of those categories that I just like. And I literally couldn't come up with any. I think I wrote like coffee, working out, and I didn't even know for my favorite color. I feel like I have no genuine idea what my favorite color is anymore. And what's so interesting is what I really think about when we were kids, we just like had a favorite color. We had a profession that we wanted one day, a career. We had a favorite animal that we were just randomly really into to. It's like no one had to tell us what to like or what not to like and so we just all collectively had At least people I've talked to and at least for myself and my siblings We all had these things that we just liked life was simple and it was like, oh, I like this color It's my favorite and then you grow up and then there's people and comments and thoughts on what you're supposed to do with your life And like and not like and do all of that gets really jumbled And it's just so interesting because I thought I knew so much about myself But that I'm sitting there with one of the most basic questions being asked of me and I didn't even know what to say Is that dumb? In the big scheme of things I guess so but at the same time it's something I want to figure out because I feel like if I can't even know the basic things that just bring me happiness whether it's a color or an animal the whole point to this is more just wanting you guys to also really think on that if you feel in the same kind of thing that we need to bring it back to being a kid because you feel like when you're a kid you're growing up and becoming more mature sometimes some of the most information that you learn in life is when you go back to that childlike kind of mindset and that's what I need to get to because I've always just been so above my years and my age and my maturity and everything, but sometimes I feel like I need to almost take it back to that childhood and really remember what made me me at the core. That's what I'm gonna be working on, and you know, I'll get back to you on that list of things I like. There's going to be some very silly things on there, but I'm gonna make it, and I'm gonna make it very good. Maybe you can do one too. That's something you can take away from this. I definitely have a lot more I would love to talk on, and I'm sure there's going to be random things coming up, but that is kind of part of this. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. I'm going to go have a great day with my sister, and I will see you guys tomorrow for my first day alone and we're gonna do it and we're going to be strong <laughs> okay goodbye everyone oh,